Kathy Thomas, and I'm with the executive chef of the Ranch Restaurant and Saloon in Anaheim, Michael Rossi. Happy to be here. Thank you, Michael. I love your artichokes. Oh, thank you, Kathy, very much. Tell me about them. Well, I think, you know, the artichoke is something that, that people are afraid to use. And uh, we're going to show you how to cook one today that's really easy. I'm going to start peeling the outer leaves. And you can pull out as many leaves uh, that you like. I mean, you can leave a lot on, but I think that they're more tender towards mm -hmm, the middle. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to clean uh, quite a few off. I think it's better to do the way you're doing is just snap them off. Yes. Because you're left with this meat. Absolutely. And that's, that's the best part. And then you want, you want to get down to where it's just this yellow part right here. Right. That's where it starts to be the most tender. You can't eat these top pieces. Mm -hmm. So I'll just take a little bit off there. Then what I like to do is I like to just peel down the outer part of it. Just, just enough. And you're just using a, a vegetable peeler. Vegetable peeler, that. yes. What we'll do is we'll cut it again. You can actually uh, just take out with a spoon or a, a little paring knife uh, this little area right here. So you've got a steamer over here. I do. We're just going to put it in. Make sure that you season your water. Let it go for about 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and make the garlic sauce. Just take some, some fresh garlic. I like to just chop it up. We'll take a little bit of uh, red chili flake, mm -hmm. as hot as you like, mm -hmm. and a little bit of olive oil. Because I have a little bit of lemon lemon flavored olive oil. Mm -hmm. And would it be better to make this in advance and it, let it yeah, sit Yeah, you want, the, you want the garlic to really let all its flavors out. All mm -hmm. the oils that, after mm -hmm. they've been chopped up, releases in the actual oil itself, makes it really, really, really flavorful and sweet. A little bit of parsley, chopped up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a little bit of lemon zest to it. I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this as well, just so it's all seasoned. And that's it, real simple. So we're preheating our grill pan. Right. We've got our steamed and cooled artichoke half ready for the sauce. Ready, ready to, to throw it on the grill. Okay. Before we put it on the grill, we're gonna season it. Down in each little area, we're gonna just take our sauce and we're just gonna put it little pieces down in, mm. you know, just, just so it, every little portion has it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just take the artichoke, uh, just throw it right on the grill. A nice just sizzle. Let, let, it, let it sizzle away. I like to take a little bit of lemon as well and uh, throw it on the grill as well. Gives it a really nice um, rustic flavor. Also, the juice that comes mm -hmm. out of it is just delicious. There Looks we go. gorgeous, Michael. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thanks for letting me come over and, and cook with you. Oh, you bet. Now, a quick tip from Melissa's. Artichokes make great containers. You can steam them off whole and spoon out the interior chokes and small leaves and stuff them with all kinds of things. Even easier, steam them, already cut in half, and use them like a boat. One thing that I like to do is to stuff them with potato salad. So in goes the potato salad, spoon it in. This one is mayonnaise based. If I'm taking it on a picnic, I really prefer to use an oil and vinegar dressing. And you can turn the potato salad into a main course by simply adding some chopped cooked chicken. The fruit and vegetable aisles are filled with so much potential. Try something new. Have an adventure.